Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Question today about head tape. So I called in my pro, the only pro, maybe the only person I know that uses head tape to cover this one. Stay tuned. All right, so coffee sponsor of today is Torek. Oh, it's my buddy Torek from, uh, from Florida. How you doing, man? Thanks for the coffee. Torek writes, Harry, enjoy the coffee. Well, Torek, you got a two for one today. Coach Jared's in the house. We got him like a mocha, and we got me my black coffee. So here's to you, Torek. Jared, Cheers. thank you. All right, I finally got my uh, my Ethiopian Supernatural today. The one that I've been complaining about not getting. So I guess I complained so much they finally made it today. Thank you, Pete. All right, if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to support the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you all, and thank you everyone for your support. All right, thank you, thank you. Now, let's put the coffee down. Thank you, Jared. All right, so this, this question actually came from a viewer. Hi, Harry. Does installing a head protection tape on my racket really help? Will it make me look like a newbie? How much? How much will it make the racket head heavy using 20 inches of tape? Thanks, DB. Okay, DB. Does installing head protection tape on a racket really help? Yes, it helps protect the head of your racket. Will it make me look like a newbie? Probably yes. <laughs> How much will it make the racket head heavy using 20 inches of it? Well, we're going to answer that today, okay? So Coach Jared is the only one I know that uses head tape. Mm -hmm. He puts it on his uh, whiteout 305s, and we've got a good amount of head tape on both of his rackets. One, I believe, has one layer. Yep, this one. And the other one has two layers. Plus, you also have lead on the head. Correct. Okay. So, Jared, can you tell them the story of why you use head tape? Yep. So, Harry has been with me my entire racket journey. And we'll probably remember around 10 years ago or maybe long, longer than that. I was switching rackets like crazy every single a lot. Six, seven months. <laughs> so I think in a period of like maybe two years or so, I went through like seven or eight different frames. Um, I remember my mom was getting really angry knowing that we had a bunch of rackets stacked up in the house. And she said, I will not let you buy another racket until you sell these. So um, my dad, on the other hand, was a stickler for keeping everything in like pristine condition. So he said, you guys are going to play with head tape on your rackets or else you guys are not going to play at all. So he went out and I think went on to like Tennis Warehouse or something, looked up head tape and always had like a Gamma brand head tape. So every time we went out and played a match or practice or whatever, we'd always just deck out our rackets with head tape to make sure that the uh, grommet itself was protected. So since then, and even until today, I just use head tape on all my rackets. So that's kind of the whole spiel from the, uh, the Ma household. So literally you're telling us that for the last eight to ten years mm -hmm. you've only played rackets with head tape on correct <laughs> only head tape on <laughs> every single time <laughs> do, do you realize that um without the head tape your balance is a lot head lighter no <laughs> <laughs> i did not know that <laughs> so when you demoed rackets obviously you didn't put head tape on right or did no. you put head tape on? uh anytime i demoed a racket it was always just without head tape on it okay Okay, so when you actually bought the racket, you put the head tape on. Correct. Okay. Did you ever wonder why you got so much plow with your rackets when you put the head tape on? 
no, but now that you mention it, it probably did swing a little faster when I was demoing it versus <laughs> when I actually put that tape on. So it could make a difference, but at the time, I probably wasn't thinking about it too much just because I was just super intrigued with what I was demoing mm -hmm. and then probably didn't realize stuff until afterwards, but for the most part, I was not aware of any of that stuff. And it's okay. just like, you know, I always thought that the head tape was just there for protection. Got so, it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, so we're going to now analyze Coach Jared's rackets um, and see how much weight there is with one layer and two layers of head tape on these whiteouts. So something else I wanted to mention is, you know how some people, they just kind of play with what they have. They don't really complain if it's too heavy, too light. They just take the racket and, and beat you with it, right? Uh, Coach Jared is that kind of person. He could just play with anything and it's totally fine, right? That's why he, you know, with or without the head tape, just make slight adjustments and we'll beat you, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, right? Some people are just like that. I'm not one of them. But <laughs> I wouldn't go so far and say I'm the same, but I'll, ta I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is get a board here. So board, and we're going to take measurements right now, one layer, two layer, and then we're going to strip it off on um, one of them and then show it stock versus one layer and two layer. Okay. So we're going to go over to the Biardo Pro and uh, take measurements right now. All right, so at the Bayardo Tune Pro, we got the whiteout with one single strip, one single strip of head tape. Perfect. 11.8, balance is 13.2. which is 334.8, 33.5. All right, so we're gonna do grams, Let's zero it out. Switch. Switch. Two layers now. Okay, 341.9, 33.3. For those of you who want ounces, 12.1, 13.1. Okay, so you can see immediately that there's like a five gram difference right there already. Now let's check the swing weight now. All right, the swing weight, the one with the single head tape. Three forty five. Three forty five. Okay. 345, coach. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> this this got to be higher, right? We got two layers two on. Two layers of head tape, a little more swing weight. Three forty-nine. Okay. So even with one layer you can tell there's a difference. We got five grams here. This remained kind of the same, which is a little weird. Swing weight, it did increase a bit. So I wonder if you have a off balanced racket a little bit here. All right, coach, you get to decide. You want me to take the one strip off or the two strip off? Uh, just take off the one strip, probably one strip. easier. Okay, yeah. we'll switch. So we'll take this one off. That's your 20 inches right there. Solid. <laughs> All right. 
Let's see how much it lowered the swing weight. Three thirty seven. Whoa. Big change on that one. Yes. All right, so we go back to here. Those of you who want ounces. 11.7, switch, 3.32. All right, so 3.32, 3, 3.3. Hmm. And this is from the single layer. No, from one layer, okay? So we're looking at this versus that difference of 2.8 balance dropped a little swing weight dropped a definite notice noticeable amount so if you want a faster swing speed take the head tape off <laughs> if you want a little more plow put the head tape on if you want more plow use two layers of head tape <laughs> so that's the difference between one layer, two layer versus nothing. So if you look at two layer versus nothing, let's do a little math here. That's almost 10 grams, 10 grams between 349 and 339. That's over 10, that's 12 of swing weight. So Jared, do you think you could play without head tape? Probably should. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I probably favor it with the head tape. I gotta start thinking about uh, using it versus not, since there's some pretty skewed numbers here. So, gotta start thinking about that more than than what I usually do. Yeah, I, I mean, I think you're so used to it being on there mm -hmm. that it's gonna be difficult um, for take it you off. to take it off. Good. Yeah. The yeah. ironic thing is you call me once in a while saying, there's not enough plow. <laughs> and I was like, put some lead at 12 o'clock. <laughs> so not, yeah. I mean, me forgetting that you already use head tape. Exactly, so. exactly. But uh, yeah, it starts, it's starting to make sense now as to why some demo rackets maybe feel different than others. Just because, again, versus having a demo versus when I actually have it, adding all this tape might mm -hmm. make all the difference. So that's yeah. definitely something to consider going forward. Okay, so um, we got three wideouts here. They may be up for sale soon because he's going to get Ragnos. Eh, we'll see. If we can find them. <laughs> if we can find them, maybe. We'll see. Coach Jared, thank you so much for mm -hmm. going on this uh, swing weight, weight, head tape adventure with me today. Where can they find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Tennis. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Coach Rob, I feel like I'm lost on the court. I'm just hitting mindless tennis. Understandable. I've seen it, you hit. <laughs> <laughs> you need a plan, Harry. You need a, you, every shot has to have a purpose. We've got a singles playbook there today. Are we gonna run into these plays with your singles players? Absolutely, we got the diagrams, we got, we got it all right here. All right, step by step. Step by step, how to beat a southpaw, how to beat a pusher. It's all in here. We're gonna definitely see a pusher today. And then for the doubles players, we're gonna see and get the highest potential, run some plays that will basically be hopefully unstoppable on the court today. Step by step instructions from fuzzy yellow balls, QR code, you can watch the action on a video. So the playbook is here. Get yours today at Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Click on the link below. Check it out.